Ciao, I'm Mariana Esposito. And I'm Joe Faro. Today on Ciao Italia? Ravioli alla ragosta. Davvero. Ciao, I'm Mariana Esposito. Welcome to Italy, and let's cook real Italian. Aren't they gorgeous? Swiss chard. I knew you said that. I'm in heaven. Think about how healthy this is. That's for you. Sunday sauce. All 20 regions of Italy are fabulous. And every time I do this, I think of my Nonna Galasso because she always made it this way. You want a Goldilocks dough, just right. Who doesn't like basil, especially in the summer? Obviously, you have to have pesto sauce at some point, right? I mean, I'm a cook. Why can't I try it? You're the best. No, you're the best. <laughs> Funding for Ciao Italia was made possible by Uncommon Flavors of Europe From the mountains and pastures of Europe come Asiago PDO Pecorino Romano PDO and Spec Alto Adige PGI Two cheeses and a ham with traditional places of origin Behind every bite, centuries of tradition Authentic European foods earn their marks of distinction. Parmigiano Reggiano. Two words, three natural ingredients, countless generations of Italian cheesemakers, 900 years of experience. Parmigiano Reggiano. The only Parmesan. Tuscan Market is more than just a store. It's a philosophy of Italian life that includes healthy eating, which means using fresh ingredients that will turn your same old, same old recipe song into a beautiful symphony. Great meats, fresh pasta, and Italian bread to die for. Today I'm cooking with the maestro of Tuscan brands, Joe Faro. Joe, I love coming here, but it's just overwhelming with all the stuff you have. Tell me what, what is what makes up the store. Marianne, we have imported ingredients from all over Italy, and then we have wonderful products that we make ourselves. We make our own pasta, we make all of our own bread, we cure our own salumi, all of our own pastries, gelato, and we have all kinds of Italian products. And, oh, by the way, we need caputo, doppio zero. We need some okay. double zero flour for the ravioli. Okay, yeah. I'm going to take a couple of these. And, and then, then we need, what do we need? We need, we need the cheese, ricotta. ricotta. We need the okay. lobster. Lobster. Butter. Butter. Lemon. Uove. Yeah. Eggs. And we're, we're good. We make raviola de costa. We're good. Let me grab a lemon or two because we're going to yeah, need A couple those. of lemons. Okay. okay. We're going to need a few other things. Yeah. We're going to need uh, uove, a little bit of uh, eggs. Yes. So organic eggs, we'll get a dozen eggs. Okay. Uh, hand dip ricotta. We have that here. Okay. That's Beautiful. perfect. Mm -hmm. Uh, how about some Italian butter? Oh, let's We import this absolutely. butter right from Italy. Of Ferrarini. We have Italian okay. Butter. And then, of course, we need lobsters. Yeah. And we have them here in our seafood section. Okay. Hampton Harbor lobsters. We're going to need to cook a couple of these. Okay. And we'll use them for the ravioli. Okay, let's get those let's cooked. Go. And Giuseppe, I know that you know how to make pasta because you've been <laughs> making it since you were, what, six? Uh, I've been making pasta since I was a boy. Since you and were a boy, that so... that was my first business, actually. Okay. okay so we're going to actually want to make... Now, what kind of flour business. are we using? This is a doppio zero. This is a double okay, zero double flour. Double zero? Okay. okay. You know, when I was a boy, okay, I grew up in a bakery. And the bakers, okay, were so skilled. They, we, all we used was shell eggs, okay? But they used to crack the eggs with one hand. With one hand, Okay. Yeah. So I learned how to crack an egg... Perfect. With one hand. And no shell in there. Very nope. good. No, I, used to, I used to get in trouble. If I, if there was shell in it, it would be a problem. So now, I used to get in trouble. What's the ratio that you're using of flour to egg? Because that's really critical. So this is this is a, about a kilo of flour. Okay. okay and so, I'm going to use three eggs. Are you going to put any salt in there? Yep. Okay. I am. All right. So you have three eggs. This is, this is... This um, is... Three eggs. I have a little bit of... Salt. Okay. It's just a little pinch. We yep. don't need a lot. We don't just need a lot. Little pinch. Okay. okay. So we have the salt. Problem. We have the eggs. We, we have, have the, the salt. I'm going to add actually a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Now, is this a family recipe? It is. Now we can get so into now that. now we can get into this. So yeah. now 
we can have a little fun, okay? And we don't need, we need only the flour that we need. That's right. Okay? So that comes with experience, knowing how much of that flour you need to put with the eggs. Because what we want here is a, a pliable dough, a nice soft Absolutely. dough, right? Is you really want, you want the dough to be soft, but you want it to be, to be slightly firm as well. Mm -hmm. it's because it's got a hold of filling. It's got a hold of stuffing. Hold of filling. So it's got a hold of stuffing. Absolutely. Therein, I think, is the artistic part of ravioli. The thinness of the dough, yep. the amount of filling that's mm -hmm. in the ravioli. Mm -hmm. So that ratio is what you're looking for to perfect. Is the dough too thick? Do you have enough filling? Is there not enough filling? This only comes with esperienza, right? Esperienza. Okay, well now it's starting to look much, much better. I and think this is where we get our, we get our workout. Yeah. This is where we get a little bit of a workout. We're going to let it set, and it will smooth out. Yep. It will smooth out. It, mm -hmm. will, be, mm -hmm. it will be much more kind of, you know, developed mm -hmm. in about 30 minutes. Yep. Uh, so I think what we should do is we should put this aside to let it rest. Cover it with a bowl. Okay, we're going to cover it with a bowl. And All now... Right. You want to make a little... The filling. Ripieno. Ripieno. The Aragosta. Yes. Aragosta, yes. Let's do it. <laughs> Italian food is very simple. It's very fresh. Right. It's very simple. Right. And why is it so good? Because the ingredients Quality. are so good. That's right. So, Quality. hand dipped ricotta. Okay. Hand dipped ricotta. It's very creamy. Mm -hmm. it's, it doesn't have a lot of whey in it. It's got mm -hmm. a nice texture to it's it. It's thick. It's very thick. It's yeah. going to be, it's lovely. Uh, the fresh lobster meat. We're going to grate a little bit of lemon zest into that. Okay. Okay. Will you break this up a little bit? Well, how do you want it? I want large chunks. Okay? Large because chunks. Because I want to see that fresh lobster meat. I want to taste that sweet lobster meat. I want the texture. We'll make big raviolo. We'll make a okay. nice big raviolo. That's what we'll do. You mean that's like perfect. this? Chunky no, like that? I love that. that. Okay, yeah. okay. Even a little bit, you know, Smaller? that Smaller? Yeah. Okay. But that's good like that. Right, perfect. Okay. Perfect. Right. Perfect. Okay. And I like that juice that comes with the, with the lobster as well. Mm -hmm. I want it to... You know, I, I, I want that juice to flavor the stuffing, mm -hmm. okay? So what I'm going to do is we're going to put a little bit of egg in here. Okay, this is going to help uh, bind this a little bit. I don't need a lot. I don't need a oh, lot. That is a little bit of egg. Just yeah. a little bit of egg. You're going to mix this, but you've got to be very gentle with it. Right. Lobster meat is very delicate. Yeah. Okay, it's very, very delicate. The nice thing okay. about this ricotta and uh, this filling in general is that it's not runny. So oh. it's going to stay put Absolutely. on the sheet as we cut the ravioli form. Absolutely. It's going to stay put, so it's not going to get soupy. Yeah, I might use a little more a little cheese bit more. just to get Always just need a little bit a more A little more cheese. Parmigiano. Absolutely. I mean, we're all friends here. Yeah. A little bit of lemon zest. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. You don't yeah. need too much. Yeah. Yeah, because we want all these flavors to really shine through in this recipe. Oh, absolutely. And the key to the recipe, to be honest with you, is the simplicity of it. Yes, yes. That's the key to it. Beautiful. Okay, I love the way you do that. That's very, very Years Italian. Years of training <laughs> in the bakery, Marianne. So really, you didn't start out learning how to make pasta. You no. started out making baked goods, right? I started out baking bread, making cookies, uh, baking bread with my father, making Italian uh, amaretti with my mother, uh -huh. uh, learning how to make cannoli, the shells, all, all of that. We had a little Italian bakery. And uh, honestly, I, at the time, I thought it was cruel and unusual punishment. But, uh, but I wouldn't be where I am today without that. That's a, exactly. the passion and just the, those are the fondest memories mm -hmm. of my childhood. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Okay. So what okay. do we do? We're going to, you know, we're going to make a little ravioli. Okay. okay. And I have good news. Yes. The pasta is very relaxed. I spoke with her oh. and she's feeling better. She was a little stressed out before, but now, <laughs> now she's, she's ready good. to be rolled. Okay. So what we did is we put a little bit of, 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 of flour on yeah. the table. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, the double zero flour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can tell that's relaxed. It's very relaxed. Yeah. Look yeah. how beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't snap back no. so quick. Right. So what we're going to do is we want to flatten this pasta out first. And I have a little rolling pin mm -hmm. here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to flatten it. Then we'll cut it. And then okay. we'll put it through the machine. Okay. okay. Because as you know. Yeah, if you're doing this in a hand crank pasta machine, you just can't take this wad of dough. Correct. And put it in there. You've got to flatten it so you don't. Otherwise, Correct. you're going to strip those rollers. Exactly. Strip. The, you don't have to flatten it too much, but no. enough you just so want that. To flatten it yeah. enough so it gets through the rollers. Yeah, it's a nice want. dough because it's rolling beautifully. Oh, it's beautiful. It is. And I flip it around a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. So now so. we're going to cut. We're going to cut it. Yeah. Okay. Because mm -hmm. we obviously want it to fit inside the 
La Machina. La Machina. Okay, okay. La Machina. And we have, you brought your little plastic yeah. machine, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I got the La Machina. Yeah, I'm going to get it. We're so we get should it right move here. it over Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Let's move, move this flower out of the way. Yeah, we're going to move the plastic machine right here. I'm going to put it in. We're going to lower. Oh, you're thinning it. You read my mind. You hey, read my mind. The great pasta makers think alike. So now we want to put it back through the machine again. Yeah. Now, how thin do you really want this? I want it pretty thin, Very but I still thin. want, I, I want it pretty thin because I want the, you know, the, the, the pasta is, is lovely, but the lobster is the star of the show. Right. And so we want that pasta to be, have a bite, but still be delicate so that it showcases that beautiful stuffing that we made. Okay. Next setting. And I widen it a little bit with my hands right. too, as it goes, yeah. as it goes through. I mean, it's, it's, this is a beautiful pasta, by yeah. the way. Nice looking dough. Oh my God. This is... That it? Yeah, sometimes you have to help it. But be careful because we don't want to... Yeah, we're almost there, not quite. Oh, look at how beautiful. What, what we're looking for here is a dough that when we put that filling in, yes. we're going to be able to close the edges. So if you make this dough too dry, that's going to be a problem. But you're going to use an egg wash to help you seal the edges so that the filling yeah, doesn't absolutely. fall out when we're cooking. Okay, it's looking good. Next setting. Absolutely. Okay. Guarda che bella sta pasta. Yeah. You see why you want to go slow? Uh-huh. I learned something from you because I'm always going fast. <laughs> you know... You go to Italy a lot. What do they tell you? Take your time. Piano, Don't piano. worry. Right. Piano, piano, piano. piano. Yeah. Non ti preoccupare. Right. Non si preoccupa. Yeah, I see. Yeah, and I think that is now the right thickness. It's brilliant. It's perfect. Yeah, it's beautiful. See, Marianne, teamwork makes the dream work. Look at how beautiful. Yeah, yeah. that is nice. Yeah, so you can see your hand Absolutely. right underneath it. That's a telltale sign. I, that's what I was always told by my grandmother. When you can see your hand, pasta, the pasta is thin enough. Look at how enough. beautiful this pasta has, has stretched. It's thin. It's a little full. We're going to be that's okay. okay. That's okay. It's all right. Okay. I that. Got it? Okay. Okay. All right. We're done with that. We're done with that one. Okay. I'm going to actually put a little bit of... Uh, a little flour yeah. down? Yeah. yeah, because we don't want that to stick. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Excellent. Beautiful. You know, if you let it dry out a little bit, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. It's amazing. It's like riding a bicycle. <laughs> okay, that's beautiful. You'll notice I'm not putting a lot of flour on this side. Right. Because you know when why? you cut it, yeah, it's not going to stick, stick we together. Want it to stick. Absolutely. Yeah, right. Absolutely, we want it to stick. So, okay, so now... Now we, ne now we need the form. We need the form. Which we is... We have a couple of... Well, I'm yes. going to go a little free form. And what I have okay. here... Is I have my my little my little taglio, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Which what we can do is a couple of things. We can make our raviolo on this side and then fold it fold over. Fold it over. Okay. Yes. And then we pinch this. We, right. And we cut that and right. then we pinch it so it, <laughs> so okay. it finishes nicely. Sure. Okay. And oh my goodness, feel this pasta. Yeah, I know. It's 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 really really nice. And we want this to be moist. Right. Okay. And we we're actually going to help it a little bit. We want to right. moisten it a little bit. With a little bit of guava. Yes, a little egg. Okay. okay, a little egg wash. Okay. Now, the key with the egg wash is we don't want to slop it on there, and I only want to do half, okay? Mm -hmm. and we're going to find out why. Why? Okay. Because this is going to be the half that we put the stuffing. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, about how much stuffing are we going to put in this? In each one? Yeah. Honestly, you it's a, like an ounce. An right ounce. About an, I don't want them to be too big, okay. but I want to make sure I get these beautiful chunks of lobster, of lobster in them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we're just about there. That's Oops. good. See, now we can tell it's starting to get sticky. Okay. okay. 
And the egg, obviously, is going to make a beautiful bond right. between the sheets of pasta. And that's so a they... very good tip. That's a very good oh, tip. Oh, it is. Yeah. You don't want them to open up in the water, right? No. no very, no, very no. important. Yeah. Okay. So, so now, now we have a cucciaro, okay? Uh -huh. Cucciaro right here. Now, look how beautiful this is. So, I think that one raviolo is about right there. Okay. Wow, that's a, that's an ample amount of filling. It is. We yeah. are very... And then the next one should probably Right go around there. there. And we're going to favor this middle section okay. of the pasta. Right. So that we have enough bordo. We, we have, have enough, enough egg border. around the whole thing. Yep. Yeah. We have to have enough border okay. around the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, good. Can I help you? Jump in there. Okay, my God. That's a little bit... That's This is one is mine because it's got a little bit more... Lobster? More lobster than I... You're saying I'm being cheap with the lobster? <laughs> no. Oh boy. <laughs> there, right oh, in the center. Boy, right Keep in the that center one in the there. center. Yeah. yeah, this is yum yum. Oh okay. my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. See if we can move it in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit, because we want to get one, two, three, four, five. We want to get seven, eight, nine ravioli. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Right there, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. we get, actually, look at this. We're going to put a, a little nice bit more piece there. Of, piece yeah. of lobster there. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You're really going to know what you're eating when you eat one of these because look at that. It's gorgeous. Okay. One, minute. two, three, gonna... four, five, six. Yeah, seven. this I like. I'm going to bring this over a little bit. Want to make one more? Yep. That's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to bring it over a little bit. We're going to do that. We're going to. Hmm. Right there. Yeah. Perfect. This one needs a little bit more filling. Okay. I have what you need. Yeah. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a nice piece of lobster tail. That needs tail. a little more filling. Look at that. Piece of lobster tail right there. You got room for one more? One more. Oh, this is perfect. Look at this. This is a nice whole lobster tail right there. Yum. Oh, boy. Perfect, right there. Okay. Now. Now, hold on. We're going to wipe my hands here. Now we do the fold, right? Yep. Now we Second. do the fold. Un attimino solo. Un attimo. Un attimo. Un attimo. Okay. So now. We're gonna do the fold, okay? And what we wanna do is I almost bring, you wanna hold the bottom of this, you know what I'm saying? So that, there you go, there you go. The key is to match up the bottom first. That's the key. Match up the bottom first. Then, you're gonna find that aviolo, there it is. And again, we don't wanna, we don't wanna go too fast. Well, be careful because you got a lot of air in there. Got a lot mm -hmm. of air in there. We're gonna open this up a little bit. Let her breathe. Let her breathe a little bit. Okay, look at that. See that? Now right. you there see you the go. form. Yeah. Good. Ooh, that other. one's mine. Yeah. That's a good one. You're gonna yeah. eat that one? Yeah, I'm gonna eat that one. Okay, you can have that one. Let me open this up just a little bit. Get the okay, get the air. You don't want a lot of air. You really want the mm -hmm. dough to be wrapped. Oh my god, these are beautiful. Oh boy, are they beautiful. Want the dough to be wrapped around the stuffing. How many do you usually give as a serving? Because these, these are rich. These are rich. Three or four of these, depending. If it's a if it's a true primi. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If it's yeah. a true primi. You see what I'm doing with my fingers? Yes. I want to make do. sure I want to make sure these don't open. Okay. Right. You got a beautiful pasta here. Yeah. But nonetheless, I want to make sure that these do not open. That's very important. Now okay. You could do this with a round ravioli cutter if you wanted to, too, right? Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> with that, no problem. Yeah. I prefer free form. Yes. I like a nice. little bit of pasta there, you know what I mean? I like that. That's a that's <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm not gonna use all of this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it like that. Uh-huh. Probably like that. Uh-huh. Like that. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I'm not a rocket scientist, but I can make a mean ravioli. Okay? <laughs> yes you can. See right there. They're gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. I would say three or four of those is perfect as a first course. And remember, these are delicate, so yeah. you want to handle them delicately. Yeah, right. You want to handle them. The pasta is very thin. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can use these later. Yeah. Matagliati. Matagliati, you could put them in soup. Yeah. Absolutely.
And I like that each one of them is just a little different because it That's shows the you beauty. made by hand. That right? is the beauty. <clears throat> it's not a machine made of product. La pasta fresca. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. All so right. We have them here. Beautiful. These are absolutely beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Now, now we cook. we should cook the ravioli. That's right. So we call this a burro fuso. Okay. okay. Melted butter sauce. Melted butter sauce. We're gonna put. I have another secret. Okay. And yeah. the secret to the butter sauce is pasta water. Yes. Pasta water has right. what in it? Flour. Starch. Starch. We're gonna thicken this up a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit of lemon okay. at the end. Okay. Just a little bit of lemon at the end. Okay. No big deal. Joe, are you using unsalted butter? Uh, this is actually salted butter. Salted butter. butter. Okay. okay. So we're gonna right. put a little salt in the in the boiling That's water. That's really important okay. because pasta cooked without salt is no. not flavorful enough. Yeah. Okay. Buono, buono. Now. Okay. So now, the moment of truth, we're gonna put these okay. these ravioli in the water. Okay. okay. And we put them in honestly one at a time. These are yes. not your everyday ravioli. Too delicate. These are very delicate. Okay. They're beautiful ravioli. We don't want to break them. And here's the other telltale sign that this is a really good product. Do you see any cloudiness in that water? No, you don't. Huh? No. That is a really good sign. And these are going to take long at all. A couple no. minutes. A couple minutes and that's it. In and fact, let's grab the lemon. We're almost there. Okay. And when you take them out, you just don't dump these in a colander in the sink, right? No. Nope. No. You use a slotted spoon. No. So the butter sauce is looking good. Butter you want me to stir that around sure, a little let's bit? Stir it a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So simple. It's like you said, if you use yep. quality ingredients, you really don't need to add a lot of it, a lot of stuff. Well, oh, that's now. looking good. We're move these around a little yeah. bit. We're almost done. Yep. Actually, we're gonna get a little bit of this pasta water. Yes. Okay. The starch. Here. Okay. A little bit of pasta water with the starch. Mm -mm -mm. See how it starts to boil like that? Yeah. Very nice. Mm. And oh, notice that none of those opened up, Joe. No. None of them opened no. up. No. So. That's because you did a beautiful job you on did a, You did a great so, job sealing those. So, what we have here is a little bit of chopped lobster meat. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to put that into the sauce. Okay. All right. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah. And then we have a lobster tail. I think we're ready to go. Yeah, I think you should take those out. I think out. we're going to take these out one at a time. In fact, let's... Want me to shut that off? Sure they're okay. right off so it starts boiling like crazy. And see how I'm taking them out? Just a slotted spoon. So delicate. Okay, oh. just a slotted spoon. Mm. All right. Oh, I gotta tell you, we're gonna eat very well today. Very well. Yeah. Do you ever do these with other type of fish fillings or seafood? Do you ever do crab or? All the time. Yeah. A little ravioli di pesce. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. Beautiful. They are gorgeous. And this is done, actually. So that. that and sauce. you know what we didn't tell people? What didn't we tell them? Never, ever, 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 ever put olive oil oh. in the water oh. Oh. to cook any kind of pasta. Please don't do that. Don't do that. Please. Because nobody in Italy does that, do they? Well, they tar and feather you if you do oh, that, yeah, actually. Right. I always they, say that's a mortal sin. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So now oh. we can plate. Mm hmm? Beautiful ravioli, okay. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Oh. Look at this. The lobster meat on top. Look at how beautiful. It's a work of art. It is a work it's of so art. It's so delicate just to look at it. And guess what we have? We have a beautiful... Oh. My goodness. We have now a beautiful lobster tail. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's a nice looking. Look that at this. is a nice looking lobster look tail. Okay. A little parsley. I'm in heaven. Yes, on a wind chillow. Ravioli alla ragosta. You're the best. No, you're the best. <laughs>
Joe, thanks for spending the time to show me how to make these fabulous ravioli. And until I see you, Nella Cucina, again, I'm Marianne Esposito. And I'm Joe Farrell. Ciao. Ciao. Marianne shares the secrets of three generations of Italian cooks with Ciao Italia Family Classics. Filled with over 200 authentic recipes from Marianne, her mother, and grandmothers, this fully illustrated cookbook is available wherever books are sold and on the web. Learn more about the culture and cuisine of Italy's many regions and prepare many of their unique recipes by visiting Marianne at her website, ciaoitalia.com. Funding for Ciao Italia was made possible by Uncommon Flavors of Europe From the mountains and pastures of Europe come Asiago PDO Pecorino Romano PDO and Spec Alto Adige PGI Two cheeses and a ham with traditional places of origin Behind every bite, centuries of tradition Authentic European foods earn their marks of distinction. Parmigiano Reggiano. Two words, three natural ingredients, countless generations of Italian cheesemakers, 900 years of experience. Parmigiano Reggiano. The only Parmesan.